And welcome back, everybody. Um, I told you in the last video, you don't want to miss this one. Okay, so this is the video where we start talking about the binomial theorem. And for the next two videos, I'm going to show you some really, really cool tricks. I call them tricks because you can do stuff with the TI-84 calculator that really makes light work out of this stuff. And I wouldn't um, be doing you a good job if I didn't show you how to make your life easier. And, you, you know, if you ever need this, um, you will know how to do it. Okay, so... All right, so what we're looking at here is the binomial theorem, and this is 8-4 continued again, the binomial theorem. And in yellow here is the, the theorem. And at first glance, it's a daunting, nasty-looking theorem that I don't think anybody really um, wants to jump on. And uh, let me explain how this thing works. It's not as complicated as it might look. All right, so the one thing that I would say that's pretty simple here is a plus b to the n power. Now, what I want you to realize is that when you look at this theorem, you're looking at A, the, that's right here, decreasing by 1, just like we know it does. See, N, N minus 1, N minus 2, you know, all the way down N to, to the 1, and then gone, he's in A to the 0. You notice B increases by 1, B to the 1, see he's 0 here, B to the 0, B to the 1, B to the 2, B to the N minus 1, B to the N. So that's, that's just the stuff we already know. So, so when we talked about the last video with binomial coefficients, and we said, look now, any row of Pascal's triangle is a set of binomial coefficients, and we can compute them with our calculators doing n choose 0, n choose 1, n choose 2. For example, um, like this guy here, if we, uh, our, our example is to raise this thing to the 8th power, we're going to have 8 choose 0, 8 choose 1. 8 choose 2, and so on. So what you really want to pay attention here with this theorem is just these coefficients. Because remember, that's all we really need. We know the rest of it. Okay? Now, this I said this is a more compact notation here, and we're going to use it tomorrow or whenever we watch that video and do that video. Um, it is more compact. Notice it's just this series. This, this is that series. Um, if you start with 0, n choose 0, a to the n minus 0, b to the 0. Yes, that's that term right there. And then k is 1. We get a minus 1, b to the 1, n choose 1. So this is another way of writing that theorem, and I think it's a more compact way. All right, so let me go to uh, show you the way I like to do these. And I like to do them with the TI-84 calculator. And I'll show you a trick. You won't regret this. So the folks that don't watch this video are going to really be sorry about that. All right, so I'm bringing up this calculator because it's the easiest one for me to show you guys how to use. And I'm going to go to my y equals, believe it or not. Now, if we're doing this thing and we're using 8 choose 0, 8 choose 1, 8 choose 2, yes, I can calculate every one of those really by hand. But I, have, I mean, with using the math menu and go over to probability, but I have a better way to do this. If you put it in here as 8, and go to your math, probability, grab number three, and then let the variable x change for you by increments of one, two, three, four, five, and so on, and go to your table. You're going to get the binomial coefficients. This is row eight of Pascal's triangle. Zero, one, eight, 28, 56, 70, 56, 28, 8, and 1. If you notice, there's nine of those. They start with one, end with one. This is it. Again, here's how I did that. 8 choose x gives me row 8, the n equals row 8 of Pascal's triangle. Okay? So you would just go to your table and write those down on a piece of paper, whatever you're working on. And I've already done that. So let's come down and take a look at how we would use it. All right, so you would go to your table and extract that information, just like this. You say, okay, and there's my coefficients. This is row 8. I know how the exponents change. You're basically going to put your exponents in with those coefficients. And the reason I've already done this one, I tried to make the video and type this in here, it was taking way too long. And, um, oh boy, didn't want to do that. Um, it was taking a long time, and I wanted to show you how this stuff how to think of it without 
taking all my time up. There's your coefficient of 1, 8. There's your 28. Now notice what I'm doing here. I'm reducing x by 1 every time. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 x to the 0, just like we know to do. So the only new thing in here is are these coefficients, okay? Um, finally, um, let's see what I did with 3. 3 to the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just like that. Now this isn't a finished product. This requires you to simplify a little more. And, okay, I'm going to simplify this for you, and I'm going to copy this guy and paste it, just to speed things up a little bit here because I know this video will get long. All right, the simplified version of this thing would be x to the 8 plus. All right, so this is 3 times 8. And, oh, no, we don't want that. We have x to the 7th, right? What am I doing, guys? 24 x to the 7. All right, then we've got 3 squared times 28, and I've already pre-calculated this. Um, that's 252 x to the 6, right? And the next one you get is 1512. That's from saying 3 cubed times 56 x to the 5th. And the next one you get is 56.70 x to the fourth plus 13.608 x to the three plus almost there to 20,412 x to the two plus 17,496 x to the 1 plus one last number here 6561 and it's out of space uh, won't let me do it That last number there is 6561. Anyway, that's how you simplify it. So, okay, uh, real quick, the takeaways from this video are take this thing here, the exponent, go to the n equals 8 row in Pascal's triangle by putting in 8, choose x. Let it start changing for you in the calculator. Go to your table, extract that information. Write them on your paper, whatever you got to do. Those are your coefficients, and don't forget, at the x term here decreases by 1, while the b term increases by 1. Anyway, don't miss the next video either. I've got a more complicated case to show you, and even more calculator tricks. See you in the next video.